I am finally doing another sit down video with you guys and then I know you're probably thinking, surprise, surprise, she's doing yet another tag. But this is a video that I have wanted to do ever since I saw it. Uh, this tag was created by Christina over at the Pretty Shiny Sparkly channel, which I have been watching for years. She is probably one of the first people that I ever saw put a vlog on YouTube. So I think it's rather fitting that I am doing her ultimate vloggers tag. And I'm excited to do this because vlogging is a new thing for me as you've seen on my channel. I've tried to do more vlogging as of late. And don't worry guys, those sit down videos that aren't tag videos are coming. I just thought this would be a really fun video to share and I'm really excited to tag my fellow YouTubers. Of course, as I always like to say, even if I do not tag you individually and you watch my channel and you would like to do this video, please consider yourself tagged. I'm sure that Christina would love to see as many people as possible do this video and I think it's a fascinating tag to watch. So if you are watching my channel, consider yourself tagged if you would like to do it. Question number one is, when was your first vlog? I still very much consider myself a newbie YouTuber and vlogger. I did a good handful of videos before I tried my hand at vlogging and it's definitely been been uh, a slower progression for me, but now I'm really loving vlogging. So I looked back in my YouTube archives, if you will, my YouTube library. My first vlog was actually over a year ago. The date under the vlog, and this is the only reason I know because I wouldn't have remembered this, was May 2015. I was doing the 21 Day Fix weight loss program from Beachbody, and I decided that I was going to vlog everything that I ate or attempt to vlog everything that I ate for that 21 day period. And I have to admit, it's not my favorite. The next question is describe your first vlog. I don't think I ever showed you my face in the video. So you just hear me ranting on and on about the food I ate and how difficult it was. I think the video was around seven minutes and 30 seconds. And you know, it wasn't the most horrible vlog in the world, but it definitely was not the most exciting vlog in the world. This is the first image you see. I was at least smart enough to take a thumbnail, uh, but I was using that thumbnail as my intro to the video. Good morning, friends. This is day one of 21 Day Fix for me. Oh my goodness. I'm a little bit shell shock situation. I was a little I freaked out good. because I was starting to eat clean after eating really badly. So the vlog just goes on and shares with you guys what I'm eating. I turn the sound off so that you don't really have to listen to it. You can see there my little piece of toast and hard boiled egg and strawberries. I don't know how virtuous that peanut butter was on the toast, but you know what you're gonna do. And the sad thing about this vlog series is that it was a 21 day fix, which I did complete and lost a good amount of weight. It was really awesome. But I did 11 videos in the series. I did not finish. I did not even get close to it. Um, I definitely ran out of steam. <laughs> so that is technically my very first vlog. So you know me in the past, if you've watched any of my other tag videos, I'll answer sometimes with a two-fold answer. So that was technically my very, very first vlog but it was a series where I was pretty much just showing you food. So I wanted to show you my first vlog that feels kind of like a real time vlog, if you will, where I just took you along with me in my life and talked to the camera and all of that. That one actually took place on August 24th, in 2015, at least that's when I posted it. And I was doing a production of Mary Poppins and I wanted to start sharing my theater experiences with you. So that was the impetus for my very first vlog where I wasn't just showing you flashes of food or confessing to you and how I didn't eat well, <laughs> which really feels to me like what most of the 21 Day Fix vlog series was. My first vlog where I am talking to the camera started like that and you see me chatting with you in a uh, costume shop where I was getting a fitting for my costume in the show. So now I'm sharing more theater vlogs with you here on my channel and I'll put a card up there for my most recent backstage vlog. The next question is, share in chronological order your vlogging cameras over time. I do not have a lot of equipment. I am saving and budgeting and I have plans for getting more equipment, but right now I just have a couple of cameras to share. Here's the first one. I'm pretty sure that anything I shot with this camera is probably not still viewable on my YouTube page. When I very, very, very first started my YouTube channel, it wasn't a vlog, but I did a sit down unboxing of Young Living products with the camera on my MacBook Pro. I don't know if it was not just a great camera or I didn't use it correctly or what, but the videos looked 
awful. So I thought this was also fun because you can see the filming setup that I've got going there and you can also see my current camera which I'll get to in a second. So this is what I used. I talked into the computer and used this camera and I'm already looking down at it thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't use that anymore. So I'm going to turn that off. But my very next camera was, surprise, surprise, my iPhone. Now, I did not have one of these iPhone Plus larger iPhones at the time. I had a smaller, regular sized iPhone. iPhone cameras are incredible and so many YouTubers and vloggers start out using these because the camera's great. Here's the reason why I don't use them. I have memory cards for the camera that I'm filming on right now. So I am able to just take lots of footage or film videos in advance and they can just stay on that large memory card as opposed to uh, loading up my iPhone with a whole bunch of video data if I can't take it off the phone right away. Every once in a while I will still use my iPhone when I am vlogging if it's just gonna be too inconspicuous to pull out my vlogging camera because a lot of times when you just pull out your iPhone, people don't really stare or think it's odd and I honestly don't have a hard time pulling out my camera to vlog if I'm um, out and about. Some people really don't like that, but being an actor, I'm kind of used to that. It's more that if I was at like a family function or there was somebody, um, you know, like my family or friends that I was hanging out with that didn't want me to vlog, that would feel uncomfortable and I wouldn't do that. But in general, in those situations, I reach for my iPhone still. So I should say this is my second camera and also sometimes my current camera. And of course, I've got it on the video function right now. And you know, a vlogging tag would not be complete without me doing a little vlogging in the middle of it, right? So now I'm going to film a little bit for my weekly vlog that hopefully you guys will see here shortly. Hey guys, I am taking a moment here to film in my room on my iPhone. I am filming the ultimate vloggers tag. So I'm now looking into that camera vlogging for them. I just wanted to share with you a, a moment of vlogging within a video or I guess I don't know if I can call it vlogging within a vlog. If it's a vlogger's tag, is it really a vlog? I don't know. And now I'm talking to two cameras. Okay guys, I will check in with you later on. I gotta get back to filming this video. Okay, so that's what I do when I'm vlogging. It's very simple and easy with your iPhone. And if you are someone who doesn't have it in your budget to get a camera, you should really consider using this because nowadays they have really awesome uh, lenses that you can put over your iPhone camera. I actually had one for my small camera, um, but I didn't use it for filming. I had bought a little uh, clip-on lens to take really artsy photos for an older version of my iPhone, and I did end up giving it away since I sold that phone. But if you want to use your iPhone for vlogging, check out what's out there. There's some great lens options. And then my camera that I use uh, currently is the camera that I'm filming on right there. Right now, my camera of choice is the Canon Vixia HFR50. A camcorder was a better budget option for me than a fancier camera. Believe me, I wanted one. And I do have plans and goals of getting a newer fancy camera, hopefully at the holiday season this year. Hubby, if you're watching, no. <laughs> if you are looking for a camera on a budget and you can't afford one of the fancier cameras that a lot of vloggers use, this one has been fantastic. My husband got it for me for my birthday last year, which is another amazing thing that I've been using it for over a year. It's been a great little camera. It's very sturdy. It films in HD. The film quality has been great. I've had people tell me who use expensive cameras and no cameras that they think my video footage looks good. So that makes me very happy. And I like how portable it is and how easy it is to use. But I really feel that as I continue to vlog and as I continue to grow my YouTube channel, I do want to upgrade to a better camera. I will share it with you guys right away if I get a new camera. You guys are gonna know because you know I'm gonna unbox it and share it and show it to you and all that good stuff. I know a lot of YouTubers and vloggers spend a lot of money on cameras and that's just not something in my budget right now. I don't have the entire list of my dream cameras in front of me. I am really seriously looking at the Canon G7X which is very popular. While there are plans in the works, I am now filming on my Canon camcorder and y'all you can't knock a camcorder. It's awesome. It gets the job done. I've been able to use memory cards on it very easily. It's got Wi-Fi capabilities. It's awesome. So I'll put a link down below to the camera that I use. Okay. Question four, what do you use to edit your vlogs? I use my MacBook Pro. It is my favorite 
computer that I've ever had and I agree with what a lot of people say. Once you get Mac, you can't go back. I used the iMovie that was on the computer when I got it. I got my MacBook in 2013. When I first started using it, it needed to be updated and I had some problems with it, but I think I finally got my editing game down. And again, I would really love to upgrade to Final Cut Pro or Adobe, but I feel like those are not things I'm gonna budget in now. I think I really want to budget a nicer camera before I would upgrade my editing footage because I do find that iMovie works for the kinds of movies that I'm sharing. Never thought I would say this, but editing my videos for YouTube is relaxing. I never, never thought that I would have a YouTube channel and that I would enjoy editing footage that has my mug in there most of the time because I don't like looking at myself on film or on camera. That's a big reason I went into theater because you didn't have to have a camera in your face even though I love film and I love film acting. So this has been a real wonderful surprise to love YouTube as much as I do. But I love the medium of being able to connect with you guys and talk to you guys through that camera there. Sometimes I can get a little monotonous when I babble on and on. <laughs> like I am in this vlog, so don't worry, I'll be editing. <laughs> and the last question in this vloggers tag is share three of your favorite vloggers to watch. In general, I feel like I watch more sit down videos than I do vlogs. But what I have found is, I hope maybe you guys do as well, is that when you watch a vlogger consistently, most of the time, at least I feel, I'm watching because I wanna learn more about their story. I wanna learn more about them. Um, I appreciate the graciousness they have of sharing their life online and sharing it in a way that is both okay for them and also fun and uh, good for the viewer. And so I typically watch less vloggers, but I watch them really consistently. And I would say that my favorite vlogger to watch right now is Marnie Goldberg of Miss Gold Girls channel. Marnie, I really hope you're watching this. I doubt you are because you have thousands and thousands of subscribers. But if you have watched this video up to this point, hello. Thank you so much for inspiring me uh, to vlog. I really enjoy watching your vlogs. Marnie is a wife and mom and she lives in San Antonio, Texas and she vlogs a lot. You know, when you really connect with a vlogger, you connect with their story. You wanna learn more about them and follow their journey and you can engage and talk with them in the comments. So Marnie was the first vlogger I saw where I said, okay, I'll, now I understand vlogging. If that's what vlogging's like, I'll do that. I would love to do that. So honestly, I, I have not tried to copy her in any way, but vloggers like Marnie are people that inspire me. And those that's the kind of vlog that I am inspired by, where you're just being real. I just think vlogging is really interesting. It's an art. Uh, there's a real balance between oversharing, not sharing too much, or um, not sharing enough, where you feel like you're being open and honest, but then people watch your vlogs and they don't connect to you. Vlogging is a way that I can share with you different parts of my life as it relates to my channel and uh, connect with you guys. And I love watching other vloggers for that reason. So Marnie really was someone who inspired me and showed me how fun vlogging can be. And it's also a great uh, online journal, if you will, uh, visually, so you can look back and see parts of your life and the people that you spend your life with, you know? So it's really um, something I never thought I would do. And you do have to be very, very careful what you share online, and I'm very intentional and careful about that. But at the same time, it can be a real beautiful, positive thing, and you can connect with other people by being real and letting them into your world just a little bit. Uh, Long-winded tirade to say that my first and foremost inspiration in vlogging is Marnie Goldberg. And I would probably say also up there too is Christina from Pretty Shiny Sparkly. Cause like I said, she was the first vlogger I ever saw make vlogs. She has done some real cool like time-lapse photo and really interesting editing. And that's something I wanna do more of. I just have to learn how to do it. So I'm doing it kind of slowly. But she's another vlogger that I've watched. In my top three favorites are Marnie. Then the other one I just started watching recently, I started watching a British vlogger named Emma and her channel is called It's M. And I just really love her vlogs. I just started watching them, gosh, probably a couple of weeks ago. And I would put her already in one of my favorite vloggers because she seems very down to earth. She's very relatable. I feel like if we lived in the same area, we'd probably be friends. Her and her husband are in the vlogs and just the ways that her husband kind of incorporates into the vlogs it kind of reminds me of how my husband is in the vlogs with me. I've gotten to connect with her a little bit um, via comments and um, I'm really enjoying watching her Vlogtober series. So her channel's called It's M. I love watching British YouTubers and vloggers. I also really love and have an affinity with England and Great Britain. A lot of my ancestry 
is British. Um, M is great. She's so relatable, so nice. Hello, Emma, if you're watching. And then I can't really think of my third favorite vlogger. I like watching Esther Emery. She's an author that I know through writing in the blogging world, and her and her husband live off-grid and their family in Idaho. And so it's a really interesting channel, completely different from my life at all. And she started her own channel. And so sometimes I'll watch her vlogs, but again, not all the time. And um, I will say I love watching Brie and Darren of Royal Arts. So I would say that Bree is my third favorite vlogger to watch because she is a friend in real life and has told me about a lot of really awesome vlogging channels. I don't know if she's still shooting vlogs right now, but I hope she does get back to them. If you haven't checked out the Royal Arts channel, uh, they do videos about essential oils, but she also does vlogs and thrifting videos. So those would be my three favorite vloggers to watch. And I want to finish my vlog video with um, tagging three channels to do this video. And again, if I don't tag you by name, please consider yourself tagged if you want to do this video and you're watching. And thank you for watching, by the way. Um, I want to tag Brie on the Royal Arts channel very specifically. Brie and Darren are sisters and they both do the Royal Arts channel together. And I don't know how recent their video posting has been lately, I'm not sure. Um, but Brie, if you're watching this, you should do a vlog and do this tag. Consider yourself tagged. If you're gonna get back on the vlogging bandwagon, start with this video. Brie is a real life friend, so that's why I'm telling her that. I would love to tag Elizabeth Madero, as she is another YouTuber I've been watching since I joined YouTube and has inspired me a lot in my essential oil journey. Um, but she also has a vlog channel right now called Madero Vlog Moments, and I think on her vlogging channel, she shares mostly footage from her family's vacations and things. Depending on whichever channel you wanna do it, Elizabeth, you should totally do this tag. I would love to see your tag of this. And then I would love to tag Emma from It's The It's M channel that I was just telling you guys about. Um, she does a lot of vlogging and I think it would be really awesome to see her do this tag. So that's the vlogging in my channel's world in a nutshell. But Christina, if you're watching, thank you so much for creating this tag. Please like this video if you like it and I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. I will leave some playlists below of some of the vlog series that I have done on this channel. I just finished doing Vlogist but I am trying at least for the month of October and into um, the fall and winter to do weekly vlogs so I hope you'll check those out and I'll put a link to the playlist of those. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Take care on the other side of that screen and I'll be back at you with another video very soon. Happy vlogging guys. Bye. Okay, you guys, I have to show you this. Look, it's the local TV crew filming a spot for the story of all of us standing here waiting for these crazy little cups.